Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you had a really great weekend. So the PDS should be coming out today. And uh, I tried to log on, of course, you know, the uh, the server's down for maintenance. So in the meantime, we're just going to kind of go through what and all uh, we definitely know about the Deadlands DLC. So this is all taken from uh, ESO Hub. So uh, it's uh, Mayru's Dagon's plane. Uh, we, we all know about that. I, I love Planes of Oblivion. Like... Uh, from Oblivion like back in the day when I first I came to Xbox so really like the the scenery so I, I can't actually wait for this expansion I think it's gonna be really really cool I may actually do some PvE content for this fellas I'm not gonna lie so uh, Tom Murray, Gina Bruno and Jessica Folsom over here already kind of did a stream on this um, about the preview yeah yeah it's blah 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 it's a gloomy place but the, what we're actually interested in is the quality of life and of course the sets and mythic items and um, I'm not able to find any data mined items anywhere about what mythic items are kind of in the game, so it's just speculation at this point. But uh, um, there's going to be a three new mythic items, which is pretty cool. The unfortunate part is you have to have uh, the Greymore DLC. You'll uh, you'll have to buy that. We'll, we'll, we'll pay to win, but uh, I'm sure there'll be cool mythic items. Um, let me know what you guys think, like what type of mythic items that we need. Like, I personally think we need some sort of something for a mage class in this. I mean, we already have them, but in the sense that it's, I don't know. Actually, I mean, there, there, there's a lot of good mythic items out there. I don't know what I would put. I mean, yeah, it's a really good question. What mythic items or cool ideas would you guys want to see in the game? I mean, we'll, we'll know probably today, but uh uh, new Overland sets, uh, three of those obviously. I think there's trial sets as well. Just kind of quickly go through this for you guys. Um, loot improvements. What this means is, so instead of everything being a uh, a completely random chance, guys, for your item sets and collections, uh, it's a uh, it, it's not even pseudo random anymore. It's literally your your loot table is going to be, hey, you get this item. You're not allowed to get this item anymore until you complete the set. Now, once you complete the set, it's completely random. So this is amazing considering I ran uh what dungeon is it uh city of ash to get uh the burning spell weave inferno staff took me 92 runs that's including chests every single chest 92 runs to uh get the inferno staff so now that's gonna be limited down to what like 15 runs 18 runs you know all the armor pieces plus the weapons or well, whatever they equate to 18 runs at the at the very most you'll actually have to dude in order to get it this is amazing um this should be in the game seven years ago but uh it is what it is i'm glad it's here now or it will be um anything else kind of sticks out i know delta and outcast is already covered in this super in-depth but this is amazing for my console brethren the armory so there's already an add-on which i don't even use it's called eso outfitter or something to that extent to where you can already like swap your your sets and all that around but this is actually coming to a ui version i mean i still find myself in my old ways using my my controller to do everything instead of mouse and keyboard just because you know that's how i played this game for the past six years and this armory is amazing like this is cool like kudos to zoss on this one um i will be bashing zoss tomorrow don't worry or i may even mention it on stream about uh uh, me getting uh, almost banned for some stupid shit but um, yeah so I'm gonna praise them today tomorrow I'm gonna bash the the crap out of them but yeah uh, it's the armory um, essentially you can just kind of have preset sets instead of going through all your inventory I'm like okay equip unequip equip unequip that bullshit so this will automatically do it you know in an instant very very cool I love this change or we'll be coming up we'll be on the PTS I'm not sure if this will be on the PTS uh, we'll, uh, we'll try it out uh, today on stream um, skills perks cha oh champion points too cool okay so it's not not just sets but you also get oh, didn't mean to click on that but you also get champion points as well very cool uh, performance improvements um, not really too much on this first paragraph but uh, we're not going to worry about this this is just to, to make it more you know easier for lower level rigs to uh, to kind of catch up this however okay we don't really care about the dark anchors and abysmal givers you know showing the map you kind of whatever um what i'm interested in is this in-game mail delivery is now instant thank god dude i hated having to travel just to get my shit 
out of my mail and then traveling back to where I just traveled from. It's super annoying. Like, incredible. Okay, this one, you now toggle the music. Guys, who listens to music in the ESO? Come on. Let's be real. So we got Pandora and Spotify in the background. Come on. <laughs> what would be nice instead of the music, how about when I'm stuck in combat for the, you know, for like five minutes running around on my DK has zero major expedition buffs, you know, maybe uh, fix something along those lines. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the DLC is going to be in a nutshell. Again, we'll be covering it a little bit today on stream as well so if you guys want to stick around for that i'll be going live around around 5 p.m est so just hit the bell notification icon so uh you know i'm going live and uh we'll probably be streaming quite a while today just got to test out all the changes so yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you in the next one peace